Hello there and welcome to another uh, tutorial in our SQL series. Uh, in this tutorial I'll be discussing the prompt and accept statements within the SQL environment. Now the prompt statement it, uh, allows a little user input uh, and generates a more graphical representation of a data entry rather than just pure uh, typing. So for example if we wanted the user to enter a ref number we want to display the corresponding employee information about or customer, info, uh, customer information regarding this ref number so we could say uh, please select a ref number from the following then we can display all the possible ref numbers to the user uh, select ref number from cust then accept ref ref no input so this variable here will hold the value uh, of the user's input so when we come to finishing off here uh, we can say select ref uh, name we want to display the name address and area for the user's input ref number from uh, it's the cus table where ref number equals the user input now to refer, well get the value of the user input we have to prefix it with an ampersand this is the only difference you may notice so what we're doing here is using the prompt statement in a string as usual please select a ref number from the following we have to display all the possible ref numbers we uh, select ref number from cust then accept the user's value and store it in this variable that's what the accept statement does once we've got the user's value uh, you can say select whatever you want from wherever you want where the ref number equals ampersand the user's value so let's execute this enter a value for ref no input a123 Oh, a ref no input. I think we've got. I'm not sure if my script supports this. To be honest, let's delete that a little and have another relook at this. Execute. ref number is equal to ah uh, I may have to put this in strings value for ref number a123 and there we go so unfortunately my script doesn't support most things uh, for example prompt then display all the possible ref numbers but within SQL um, the uh, command line window version anything uh, which is not a script online then you should be able to do that so prompt display all your possible values and accept the value do remember I did forget a uh, common mistake put single quotes around your variable here uh, when you have your ampersand because remember strings do go in single quotes and it, the same applies when you're referring to the user's uh, input so this is the, the values we have entered and uh, this is our result from this so A123 is J Doe 1 High Street from Sheffield so that's uh, prompt and accept uh, stay tuned in the next tutorial we'll be looking at views and indexes so I'm Sean Greasley thank you for listening and good night